<sighs> so it's Vegito versus Gogeta. Hey guys, Super Saiyan 30 here, giving you guys another Dragon Ball Fighters video on the channel. Now this video is going to be a little different among the others, but two days ago, we have gotten our hands on Gogeta. And I gotta say, Arc System Work did a damn good job of developing Gogeta. But is he enough to surpass the great shit talker himself, Vegito? But we're going to find out right now. Before this video begins, I hope you guys enjoyed the video so far. If so, make sure you give this video a like. Let's get this video up to 10 or 20 likes or more. And share my channel out with all the people, your friends and family. Let the Saiyan universe grow in strength in numbers. Now, a little disclaimer. This is a video of my opinion. You guys don't have to always agree with me. You guys have opinions. We all have opinions. So if you guys do agree, that's good. If you guys don't, I understand. I'm not going to hate you because you guys think different than I do. You guys are all people. We're all human beings. So it's okay. So without further ado, let's get started. So I'm going to start off with Vegito because he was the first that released. So Vegito released in the season, the first fighter passed when the game released. And people have been really hyped up to see Gogeta play out. And Gogeta, out of all the characters in the game, had the most mix-ups. He was kind of OP and he was really, really well designed and he looked really good. So... The Patar Warrior himself had a few flaws on him, some pros, good mix-up, overpowered hitbox, those fucking legs, and not only that, have a lot of mix-ups and a lot of kits with his spirit sword. Okay, on to his other moves. His leg movement is really good, which is his quarter circle, square, triangle, or circle. The enhanced version allows him to get you a knockback, and if you're in the corner, he could dragon rush you and you're kinda fucked. And all further ado, Vegito got a lot of good mix up with beam supports, uh, hit supports, or any kind of like that. So Vegito was actually that one two character that you could depend on because he's overpowered and his hitboxes are out of this world because his legs, yeah, his legs. So he has two level ones. I think the uh, the air level one where he punches you down, bring you back to the ground, and his spirit sword, or is called his Excalibur. So yeah. And he has one level 3 in its final Kamehameha, one of the best looking uh, moves in the game. Well, not really best looking moves in the game, well, best looking moves in the anime that was ever uh, created. Because it's so unique how it's the Kamehameha and the final flash put together, because of course they're the fusion warriors. So, Vegito, in my opinion, was an A-tiered character. But, ever since the patches, he been gotten buffed, and now he has a little extended air combo with his knee. So now he's basically kind of good, but now I want to say kind of good, but he's kind of overpowered now since he got another extended air combo thanks to his uh, buff. So now he's actually a top tiered character. At first, in my opinion, he was kind of a C character because he depended on too much of assist to do uh, good stuff. And that kind of was kind of bad for him. But now after the buffs, he's really, he's really, really good now. Now he got an extended air combo, and now he can do more with his um with his moves. All right. Without further ado, that's all I gotta say about uh, Vegito. Now let's go on to Gogeta. Gogeta just released two days ago, and I gotta say, whew, man, Arc System Work went full throttle with this character. How can I start off? Oh yeah, his mix-ups and his startup combos. They're, I gotta say, a 7.5 out of 10. Because majority of the time, people with good blocking, persistence, and advancing guard. And reflect. He, all of his moves can be reflected. But if you're good enough, then you can, if you're good with Gogeta, you can make them a guard. Or you can make them... Pressure them with certain moves, but Gogeta isn't really that type of guy to be guard pressuring and stuff because majority of his moves are kind of a little slow start up. Like his after his multi flex after image move is a beam uh, hit, but you can't cancel it out with anything else, which is kind of disappointing. 
but his regular B blast, his key blast, his X button, is the Kamehameha. And if you jump in the air and go downwards with it with X, you'll do the Gallic Gun. That is good for mix-up and start-up combos to extend combos. Um, he's also really good in the air. Really, really good in the air. And he has a downward combo. His uh, down circle in the air is a down spike. Shut up, phone. Sorry about that. So his downward spike is uh, is in this air combo. So you don't always have to use his circle combo when you're in the air to hit you uh, to you know bounce off the wall. Now here's the con of his air combo. Um, if you're too high up with the opponent, or if you're too low and you go for the circle attack, your combo will immediately drop, which is kind of unfortunate because people could be doing clutch moments and something happens to the combo and your air combo and you press the circle or you're a little too high or low the combo will not connect the circle co uh, attack will not connect with your air combo if he's too high or too low so um yeah that's the con of Gogeta so his air combos are kinda hard to pull off with the circle attack if you end it like that but majority of his specials his supers are a good reference to the anime movie the non canon movie and the kind of the super movie so his uh, soul punisher or his little knee kicks are good uh, cancelable they they can be cancelled if you're doing an air combo uh, what else uh also if you didn't realize if you do really good with the um their inputs to the soul punisher if you go quarter circle square Instead of pressing square three times to get a um, a quick uh, knockdown, if you go one square and then triangle and then triangle again, you'll get a slide uh you'll get a sliding animation that allows you to go for a level one or a level three. So Gogeta got a lot of mix-ups. He's really good. He's very tricky. Definitely with the multi uh after image, he can be very tricky because he can make it faint. And he could go from another distance, or he could just kind of punish you. But in the corner, he's deadly. That's also an extra con. If you're in the corner with the Gogeta, and he has some beam support, you're fucked. Because Gogeta could do a lot of shit to you, and that's unimaginable. So, his other move, his Soul Punisher, the move he did on Gujanimba, where he had the rainbowish thing around. And it's also a good move. It reaches all the way across the screen. And he teleports right to you. So while you're in that animation. While you're getting hit. And after the last hit. You could do a level 1 or a level 3. Which is really good. So his back quarter circle X is really good. So it's, I think it's the Soul Punisher. Or not the Soul Punisher. I think it's the Soul Punisher. Or the uh, uh, whatever rainbow move. I forgot it was. So yeah. Now moving on to his ultimate. <laughs> Sheesh. Can I just say, Gogeta is a really unique character because out of all the characters in the roster, including DLC characters, he's the only character with more than three level ones. His first level one is the Big Bang Kamehameha. The other one is Godbreaker. The other one is Stardust Fall, which is the air comp, the air version is the uh the air key blast we did in a movie against Broly. So yeah. His other one is God Punisher, but if, the, uh, if you shoot the Key Blast and you hold down the right trigger, he will do the Stardust Breaker, what he did to Janimba in the movie. So, here's the thing though. I wouldn't really consider it a level 1. I would rather consider it as a level 2, because he's using all, he's using two bars of his meter, just to end it, for people that want to be stylish. And lastly, his ultimate move. The Meteor Impact, or Meteor, whatever it's called, in the movie what he used against Broly. So, this move is not really a level 3 after doing some tests with him. His move is a level 5. Yeah, it's a level 5. And this move, I gotta say, is one of the most unique, well designed moves ever. I'm sorry about my phone again, guys. It's just going off. It's Discord. His well designed move. And I gotta say, it's good. But the downfall of this move, if you don't have enough meter to finish him off, and he's almost a speck of health away, you're kind of screwed. Really screwed. And plus, uh, I gotta say, his level 3 is good, but the last explosion doesn't really do enough damage. 
but if you add it on top of that, it'll be good. And that's where his level 5 come into play. So once you use his level 3, he'll do a start up with a dash attack. He'll punch you, kick you in the air, and you'll have to do a little explosion pose thingy. And after that, either if you have a, a, two bars left, either you can spin that bar or you can keep it. And if you do spin that bar, you'll get you'll be able to get to see his coolest uh added on ultimate ever, which is the ultimate Kamehameha. And the ultimate Kamehameha is one of the coolest names and coolest Kamehamehas ever in history, besides the limit break Kamehameha, when he did it to Kelfla in the tournament of power. So with this move, it does more damage if you're in sparking. But if you're not in sparking, you'll still do enough damage because it's a level three. But here's the cons of using that and the ult the level five. You won't have no meter, the teleport, nor won't you have the opportunity to do mix-ups because majority. Here's the con about Gogeta. Just a little con. He relies on too much of his meter. When it comes to his ultimate finishes, the uh, finish off a combo, he relies on it too much. Cause one of his level ones, he needs an extra bar to uh, to do more damage to Stardust. His other ultimates, like Big Bang and Stardust Fall, doesn't really do that. It's really it's good, but it doesn't do that much damage. Those two level ones are kind of weak in my opinion. But the only two moves that are actually strong is his Stardust Breaker, is is hashtag. Or oh, not hashtag is slash God Punisher and his meteor impact slash ultimate Kamehameha. But the Gogeta could be really dangerous if he's in the right hands. All I gotta say is he's been well designed, he's great, good attacks, but in the future he might get nerfed this the down to the fact that he's really powerful in all in many ways. So now to move back on to Gogeta. Not Gogeta, sorry about that. Vegito. So Vegito's um, assist. Vegito assist is actually not that really good. And let's just say it's, it's trash in my opinion. And there's Gogeta's uh, assist. It's also trash. I'm sorry. Uh, I have an opinion about that. But if you're good with the assist, like I said, I'm not going to judge. This is my opinion. You guys might have to agree with me. Um, all I gotta know is, say, is that if Gogeta does get nerfed in the future, I just hope it don't no nerf him that bad to the point people will stop playing with him just a slight nerf so that way he won't be used a lot i know i shouldn't be talking at all because my main gt goku and bardock they've been uh nerfed a little i don't think gt goku been nerfed but that's besides the point all i gotta say is vegeta not vegeta god damn it my mind is everywhere i'm sorry i've been kind of tired of stress lately um vegeto and gogeta two really unique characters fusion characters and dragon ball fighters Besides a Zamasu and Gotenks. These two got a lot of stuff under their belt. A lot of arsenals. A lot of mix-ups. And they could be really deadly in the right hands. These two fusion warriors live up to the nickname. The Ultimate Fusion. But in my opinion, I would have to go with Vegito on this one. Because Vegito don't rely on a lot of his ultimates you know, to win. But that's besides... But that's what being said. That's my opinion. If you guys want to agree with me, agree with me. If you guys don't, it's okay. I understand. So, anyways, thank you guys for watching. This is going to be the end of this video. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure you give it a like. Comment on what you think about it. Do you guys? Who do you guys prefer? Team Gogeta or Team Vegito? Let me know in the comment section below. And if you guys always want to stay updated to the channel, always keep us that subscribe button and stay up to date with the Saiyan Your Universe 24-7, 365 by hitting that bell notification icon on my channel. Without further ado, guys, thank you guys for watching. I got my Switch. I expect Smash Brothers content to be coming out soon when I get my laptop. So, yeah, stay on the lookout for that. Thank you guys for watching. As Super Saiyan 30 always say, I will see you guys on the battlefield. See you guys later.